Jesus, when you came to earth, you took a group of men from the marketplace and created a true community of faith and love. You shepherded your disciples into a relationship and then beyond to an adventure that transformed their lives. Then you said to all of us to come after, follow me. Well, the polls say we're not doing a very good job of that. They say we're more closely following the world than your example. So much preaching and teaching, so many Bible studies, books, videos, seminars, and retreats, and yet so little of what it all speaks of translating into life for most. Church has become something we go to, not something we are. The Bible has become something we study, not something we live by. And ministry has become the domain of the seminarian, not the opportunity for the common man. I know there are a lot of well-meaning folks, both leaders and those in the pews, who are valiantly trying to make things work. And we do seem to be converting a lot of people. But something seems to get lost when it comes to moving them on to discipleship. And isn't that your great commission? I just can't be a part of this system anymore. Lord, am I so wrong? Where is that community of disciples living their beliefs out daily in the marketplace? Oh God, you said if I'd seek, I would find. Well, I'm seeking. I'm begging you. Show me that new thing you've always been about. Seems an old friend of mine says you were doing amazing things through his business in Central Florida. He claims you're establishing a revolutionary fellowship in a cafe, and that it's the fulfillment of a prophecy you gave him many years ago. He believes much of what I've told him I'm searching for is what he's witnessing there. This I've got to see for myself. sit in the front of the cafe with Jessica when she was little and just watch the people walk in and watch the jaw drop and go I don't know what led me here wow there's something different here <laughs> because they're feeling the presence of God the environment here just I can't even I can't explain it unless you're in it I don't call it a job it's my joy I wouldn't have believed it had I not seen it for myself Thousands being fed, clothed, supplied, and ministered to through a network of disciples living out their beliefs daily, working as one. People coming to a business and finding instead a house of prayer. Souls being restored and bodies healed. The unsaved getting saved and the saved being discipled. And so many being served. The faithful doing all of this have nothing, but they rejoice because they're not in want of anything. You have provided everything. It's your community living the life you commanded right here in the marketplace, just as you prophesied. That the Lord has used this ministry to feed literally tens of thousands of meals to people and tons of clothes. And the fact that all of this has been done with, with a budget that couldn't take care of somebody's dog. Part of your life. It's, it's, it's part of your everyday being for the church in the marketplace um, to be available for people whenever it's necessary. Oh yes, Lord. You've shown me that remnant you have always raised up in times when the day seems darkest. Your light on a hill is still shining brightly and I have hope. I'm alive again. Time to let others like me know you are doing what you did 2,000 years ago, Lord. Calling your flock out of their temples and building your church in the marketplace with people just like them. As you have shown it to me, now help me tell the story of this, this fellowship of the marketplace. 
Hi, I'm Mike Wolf. I hope you'll follow the information on this screen to the Fellowship of the Marketplace documentary. There you'll see interviews with John and Lisa Kalea, their staff, and an amazing network of disciples that now see to the many needs of literally thousands across three counties in Central Florida. And all of it done by ordinary people of extraordinary faith. I pray that what Jesus is accomplishing there will give you what it gave me, hope for the church in America. Thank you.